The past 10 years have been the best of times for the Internet. And as the Internet continues to expand to every corner of our lives, it has become even harder to define. But from a historical point of view, the development of the Internet has just started. What's next? Since last week, our anchor Zhou Yue has engaged in an online discussion with netizens about the Internet's future. We gathered the unresolved questions and submitted them to the Internet giants in Wuzhen for answers as part of our special Internet Messenger series. What is the Internet? It empowers people, it equalizes the world, and it connects information. But maybe it can be more. According to our online poll results, the Internet of Things and Big Data are top among the many cutting-edge technologies and ideas that most expected to help reforge the human civilization. However, many people insist that truly groundbreaking innovations have yet to come. What will be the future be like? Some believe they have an idea. They are now in Wuzhen. Questions have been submitted to the Internet giants who in turn share their ambitions and ideas about what they think the coming years will look like. There ought to be a greater uh, opportunity for participation of the business community and of uh, civil society. I believe there is a big step coming in the world of uh, mobility, in the world of commuting, in the world of robotic. And the way we have cloud technology and the way we have infrastructure technology right now available, that will accelerate these innovations very, very fast. Shang 跟各个传统行业深度的结合。It's very hard to predict the future, but I, I, I think in the human spirit is a quest for, you know, coming up with new ideas, trying new things, trying to improve, trying to challenge what came before. Meanwhile, others are focusing on online entrepreneurship. China has been encouraging innovation and Internet Plus business and many young people are striving to realize their own dreams. Yet this year, many e-commerce companies have started to turn to the real economy and go offline. And others have been found to be involved in scandal and fraud. Is the internet gold fever era starting to fade? Is now the right time to create a startup? Let's hear what business insiders have to say. The point is not about low cost. The point is about how you bring innovation. The same if you look, look about the agenda of 2025 and Internet Plus. What is needed is entrepreneurs who have ideas and solutions which are industry relevant. And on that basis, you build products. Benz is a country, Cybersecurity is among the leading concerns of Internet users and business leaders. As more people make online payments, shop on the Internet, and use social media, concern is growing over the possible damage Internet security lapses could do to property, privacy, and data. I believe you know, we uh, will have the right technology and to make sure that we have a, a secure and, and you know, an internet that, that really respects people's privacy. Overall, there, there's always a, a balance, a trade-off between the convenience and benefits. There's probably no technology you can name that doesn't have a positive benefit and a negative benefit, or a negative non-benefit, as it were. It's about how people use the technology. Every country uh, has a role to play together in cybersecurity. Just as every country has to band together to fight terrorism, Every country has to work together on the issue of cybersecurity. Will the Internet push human civilization to a new high? We don't know now, because the World Wide Web is still shaping our lives, and its impact is still in the making. But we do know that a world connected will be a smaller world, and hopefully 
a better one too.